Hola chicos y chicas, me llamo Blackwall and welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2019 for episode number 10 of Perito, a pro cyclist adventure as we take Joaquim Rodriguez for his first ever Grand Tour win and if you've missed the previous episode I won't spoil you as of now but things are looking rather bright for the Spaniard uh, as we head into the second part of the second week of this Tour de France. Six stages today for us, starting with Morgan Avoria saint jean de maurienne We'll then go Chambéry Gap, Sisteron Bourg les Valences, Bourg de Péage Monde, Nîmes Mont Ventoux, and we'll finish the episode with a stage between Revel and Axe Trois Domaine. We're gonna try everything to do as well, as well as we did in the first episode. It's not gonna be as easy, but it's what we signed for. And we're going to start this episode with a plus five. Uh, if you've made the previous episode, then you've just seen that we're now in the yellow jersey uh, of this 2010 Tour de France. Three wins in the previous episode. Um, dominant performances from Porito. Now, again, uh, it, it, when the fitness peak, a fitness peak that might run out rather soon. And by rather soon, I mean maybe during the course of this video. So let, let's hope that we don't. Uh, there's already some attacks though. Steinewalde, Jaroslav Popovic, Juan Antonio Fletcher, Van den Broek and Sam Sanchez. This is usually a, a stage that has a breakaway winning. Uh, so if one of our guys would decide to go up there, like, I don't know, Evgeny Petrov, that'd be sick, because we'd have a chance to win. Uh, there goes Sylvain Chavanel with Linus Gerdeman. Maybe Nicola Vogondi, unless he just tries to pay for B-Box, uh, awaiting an attack from Thomas Vauclair later on. I do not know, uh, but for now, we're going to stick with Purito in the peloton. And uh, the main thing will be in the uh, our category climb, which is the Col de la Madeleine. But again, it's far from the line to create anything. And we have officially started the Col de la Madeleine. The breakaway has a lead of 11 minutes over a 133 minute peloton. Peloton that isn't pacing already. Uh, so yeah, the, the win will be up there. I don't expect this climb to make any gaps. Um, so yeah. We might try something, because we do have a plus 5, uh, and if we could hold on during the downhill portion, that'd be quite nice, but we'll see. Alright, we're going to try and take the matter into our own hands. Uh, we're approaching like a much gentle slope uh, in uh, the upcoming meter. Okay, Kim Kershen, you don't want to protect me anymore? Fuck off. Um, but there's only 30 riders left in this peloton. Gap with the breakaway is still 11 minutes. Uh, so things you absolutely love to see. We're gonna ask Kirschen to transcend himself. Uh, sure, right now. Fuck it. And um, we'll see, because we're about to approach a much steeper, steeper part of this climb. Actually, we might try to attack here. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, let's roll. Let's attack. Attack from Purito Rodriguez. Attack from Rakim Rodriguez, the yellow jersey, trying to seize up a move in this Col de la Madeleine, away from the peloton, away from the Tour de France contenders. Come on, we have to hold on for 4 kilometers, then we have to hold on for about 20 kilometers of downhill, and then for about 15 kilometers of flat terrain. When you, yeah, when you say it like that, it's not great. <laughs> it's not something I, I'm, I'm genuinely looking forward to. The peloton is about a minute down. Um, who's chasing? Is it one? Is it Vinokurov chasing or is it Contador? It's Alberto Contador chasing me. Great. All right. Uh, we should have enough yellow though to cross the line uh, of the Madeleine with a decent lead, uh, and then we will have to see what happens. But for now, we've we've tried something. It might not work. And if it don't, then it don't. But we'll see. Uh, we're going to run out of energy just at the top of it. Uh, we'll go to 61. Uh, they're going to make a nice comeback because of that. All right. Let's acrobatic descent the shit of this Col de la Madeleine. 11 kilometers remaining. And uh, the, the, well, I mean, the, the main group is 30 seconds behind me. Fabrice Jean Desbos, mate, do you want to take... Fam, you ask me to relay, then relay! Come on, Fabrice, mate. Come on. Let's go, champ. They're going to catch me, innit? Yeah, they're going to catch me. That's disappointing. It's disappointing. I, th I thought maybe I had, I had enough. Uh, but maybe I don't. Oh, come on, Jean Desbos taking a relay. I love you, fam. I love you. 
That's my guy. That's big up Sorcelassen. We love that. Uh, six kilometers to hold on. And the gap is now 14 seconds. They're going to catch me. There's no point pacing. There's no point pacing. We're going to stay in the wheel of Alberto Contador. Uh, or actually K11s because I need to worry more about the uh, world champion rather than anyone else. Uh, we're going to take a look at who's going to win. Oh, uh, well, they just crossed the line. It's a win for Luis Nelson Sanchez today in uh, saint jean de ahead of Stein de Volda, Jaroslav Popovic, Jürgen van den Broek. But there will be no gaps whatsoever in the main peloton. Denis Minchov is even going to make a comeback with Bradley Wiggins. And was that Alejandro Valverde that was dropped? Oh, it was. Wow. Okay. We're going to use our gel. Two kilometers until the line. I don't know. Maybe we could create some sort of uh, of, of gaps. I, 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 I don't know. 1.4k. We're going to start our sprints. We do have the pace on K11s. We don't have the pace on Sam Sanchez. Um, and on the rest of the guys, actually. It's going to be Sanchez... Uh, no, Evans, no, Sanchez, Evans, Schleck, no gaps whatsoever. All right, well then, we've tried our best. Maybe it wasn't enough. All right, win for Samuel San for Luis Leon Sanchez, sorry. Uh, seven minutes ahead of the peloton, peloton of a few riders. Oh, Dennis Menchov lost another minute, tw 30. Fucking hell, even Basso lost some time as well. Okay, well then, Michael Rogers lost some time, uh, GC-wise. That means that, uh, I mean, nothing changed in the top five, I believe. Oh, Jaroslav Popovic is now seventh. <laughs> Go on, lad. Uh, all right. Well, nothing too, uh, too shabby as we now have a hilly stage between Chambéry and Gap. Plus three for Porito today. Uh, a stage that suits, the, to, that suits me, actually. Um, but the, the summary of the final climb is a bit far from the line. About, I'd say, seven to eight kilometers. Um... I don't, I don't know. Uh, this game, uh, I mean, sorry, this stage back on PCM 2010 would create the maddest gaps. Like, I remember if you simmed, uh, if you did like a detailed simulation of this stage, half of the simulation would result in the peloton being 20 minutes down on like five favorites. Because they'd all attack here and the peloton would just do nothing. Kind of like what happens in, in national championships when you don't have many teams. And it would just be so weird. Um, but yeah, this is PCM 2019. Improved AI since 2010. Um, so we shall see what happens. I don't even remember what happened with the Garmin save in this stage. So I, I can't really base myself off that. Well, we've started the final climb and... Oh, Sam Sanchez is the first one to make a move. He's actually attacked before I wanted to. Uh, we're going to follow Andy Schlecht in that case. Because Andy Schlecht is in the wheel of Contador, who himself is in the wheel of Sam Sanchez. Um, Alright, they, they didn't attack when I wanted to. I'm not going to lie, I'm quite quite disappointed about that. Uh, Sam Sanchez's attack is going to come to an end. But Contador hasn't. Contador attacks once again with Andy Schlecht in the wheel. And he's going to... Finish his attack at the same time as I do. Yep. Andy Schleck, is he going to make a move? By the looks of it, the answer is a no. Alright, we're going to try and maybe pace up. Although we finished the toughest part of this climb, I don't think there's any point pacing. Big attack from Alejandro Valverde on the left-hand side of the road. Big attack. Okay. Uh, is is he? He's not that much of a threat, to be honest. We're just going to follow Sam Sanchez. We're just going to follow the rider from Euskatel. Uh, and, and see, Valverde is about 2 minutes behind the GC, I, I couldn't afford uh, losing 20 seconds on him. Let's see if uh, someone like Sam Sanchez can lose uh, that time on uh, the ride of Euskatel. Uh, no, of course, my bad. Well, we're now in the downhill portion, we're going to acrobatic this uh, downhill. Come on. To be fair, like, Sam Sanchez uh, is like a great downhill guy, so I don't even know why I'm tempting to, do, to come back on him. But we've had a, we okay. We came back on Valverde, and we've we're gonna drop Valverde, maybe? No, surely not. Wait. Oh my word! Wait, no, that's that that's Joe's catchphrase. What's happening? How am I dropping Sam Sanchez in a downhill portion with Joaquim Rodriguez? Ah, you're mad. You're mad. You're you're mad. You're mad. You're madders. What do you mean I've crashed? You can't see me. Why you go so? Why, why you come so fast? We're gonna lose time once again in this pro cyclist because of a crash. Are you mad? Fuck's sake! Right, let's try to bridge the gap with these lot. 
I can't, I can't believe it. I physically can't believe it. We're gonna lose time on these bitches because I fucking crashed again. What do you mean? First place Vasco and then down, and now Tour de France. Fuck's sake. Valverde gets the win ahead of Sanchez, Boissonagen, Schleck, Evans. We're 13th. Right, thank God there's no gaps. Valverde gets the win ahead of Sanchez and Boissonagen. Uh, GC wise, nothing changes. Good, 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 good. Uh, actually, Sam Sanchez gets a position, gets one up position up on Bradley Wiggins. All right, uh, Sisteron pour les Valence, let's get it. It's a rainy day today in Sisteron, 187 kilometers. Uh, and just like the first week, as soon as there's a sprint stage, I'll see you in about 180 kilometers now. Hold up, who crashed? Who, who crashed? Wait, 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 wait. That's why it's to Bradley Wiggins. Okay, he's already back in the pellet. Wait. No, he's not. That's not Bradley Wiggins. Is Wiggins in A1? Or am I blind? I feel like I might be blind. Um, yeah, I can't see Bradley Wiggins. Interesting. Oh, wait, did he withdraw? Because I know Matthew Goss withdrew. Uh, Frank Schleck withdrew. Oh, that's big. That's big. Alright. Uh, well, I'm guessing Bradley's back. Okay, so Bradley was injured, dropped. Okay, first thing to happen in this stage. And it's another crash. Fam, how many people are going to crash in this stage? Like, even Basso's next to me. He crashed three times. Timothy Krisky crashed, like, twice. And we just had Igor Anton, I think, uh, slamming his chest across the ground. Like he did on the Vuelta uh, that he was meant to win and ever since he, he became shit. Uh, but 12k to go, two riders left in the break. They won't hold on for long. We have Sebastian Turgo, a uh, former, well I mean a, a future in this save, technically future uh, podium finisher of Paroué and Fabian Wegman. But yeah, we're just going to take a, a decent sprinting wheel. Mark Cavendish? No? Okay. Can I take the wheel of uh, André Greipel? No. Okay. Can I take the wheel of Alan Davis? No. Okay. Can I take the wheel of Evgeny Pet? Nah, do, do I want to take the wheel of Evgeny Petrov? Is that Tony Martin leaving? That's, that's levels. Um, can I really not take the wheel of Alan Davis? No, 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 no. Not Evgeny Petrov in the wheel of Davis, for fuck's sake. There we go. Much better. All right, automatic strategy. Well, we're going to take the will of Alan Davis, and uh, we'll we'll see what happens from that point onwards, I guess. Um, also, can we like decide to catch Fabian Wegman? Well, Velant is there. We've got Tom Bonin. Uh, we're not exactly in the highest position right now. Let's 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 use Evgeny Petrov. Sure, fuck it. All right, let's use Evgeny Petrov. We're first going to catch Fabian Wegman. There we go, and the sprint will be on its way very shortly. We're gonna take the wheel. Wait, wait. Let me just take the wheel of Daniele Benatti. Perfect. There we go. That's a sprint. We're in third place right now. We're not gonna hold on for long, but it, it's fine. One k to go. Benatti starting his effort. Petak in the wheel. We've got Forster, Horas, Greipel, and Perito Rodriguez, and we're gonna start our. Sp oh my Jesus, Lord! It's a win for Purinzo in Bourg Valence. What do you mean? Ahead of Robert Furster, Jose Joaquin Roras, Greg Van Avermaet, André Greipel, to, uh, Betaki, Tom Bonin, Alan Davis, Daniele Benazzi, and Robbie Hunter. What? How has the fuck happened then? What do you mean? I big dub. <laughs> big W. Well, I mean, if there is one stage I didn't expect to win, it, it was this one. Uh, but I guess good positioning gives you a win. It sounds like a, a B-Tech Red Bull advert. Uh, but yeah, we take the win ahead of uh, Robert Furster. Furster, sorry. Und, und? No. <laughs> and Jose uh, Joaquin Roras. All right, nice. Love that. <laughs> Love that from us. Um, Points-wise, on that eight points on Alan Davis, as we now have a stage between Bourg de Péage and Monde. It's another plus five for, for Perito, uh, and it's a day that is going to be good for him, because this is 
typically the kind of stage uh, that I like on PCM. And it's similar to the one we've won on Paris with Porito. I've actually... Wait, 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 wait. No, I can't say that because it would be a spoiler. Um, but no, it's, it's a stage I do like. And um, I mean... If it's if there's one stage in this tour that I was going in knowing that I would win, it would be this one. Or the previous stage in Bourlet Valence because everyone had said I was gonna win. Uh, all right, Kim Kirshen just crashed with Alberto Contador. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're all uh, good to go though. I don't think there was any withdrawals. Let me just uh, yeah, take a look. Uh, if I can actually, fam, I'm so cold I can't click. Uh, no, okay, it's fine. Everyone, uh, everyone's gonna come back, but it's a crash for Alberto Contador. Maybe it's he's gonna struggle, but I, I don't think he will. Like I, I crashed, and the day after I won a sprint stage. So yeah. All right, we're gonna approach the uh, bottom of the uh, Côte de la Croix Neuve, two kilometers until it's summit. Why is Kim Kirshen and Vlad Carbes protect? Like why, why are the both of them protecting me? Would. Uh, I have a doubt about that. All right, Kim, mate, transcend yourself. I'm gonna wait. Tra yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I know in a previous video I may have said like transself your send, which isn't uh, correct, both uh, grammatically and it just doesn't doesn't mean anything. Um, but we started the Côte de la Croix Neuve. Well, we're gonna attack in the second steep portion of it. Uh, unless we create a gap here. No, Vinokov is well and truly holding on. Uh, although he is looking slightly out of red. Uh, is that an attack from Alejandro Valverde? It is. Valverde is the first one to make a move. Alejandro Valverde with Purito, Contador in the wheel. Andy Schleck just behind the um, winner of the Amstel Gold Race in this save. Big attack from Valverde and counter. Counter immediately from Purito Rodriguez. And he's going to drop Schleck and Valverde. And he's not going to drop Contador as of now. But it's going to be a sprint until the line between the two Spaniards. Who will take the win? Joaquim Rodriguez, Alberto Contador. It is the fight no one expected. Uh, actually, probably some people did expect it. I don't know. Uh, but we're going to take the will of Contador. He's going to launch his sprint. So are we. And it's going to be back to back W's for Purito Rodriguez. Ahead of Alberto Contador, Andy Schleck will claim third with Alejandro Valverde in fifth, in fourth place. Bradley Wiggins runs up the peloton with a disappointing, disappointing sixth place from Cade Evans and an even more disappointing ninth from Sam Sanchez, who have lost big time today. 22 second lead over Andy Schleck, 40 over Bradley Wiggins and Cade Evans. We've done well. We have done very well today. It's a big win, very big win from Purito. GC wise. Oh, uh, well, I mean, second place is now Andy Schleck. 110 behind uh, Purito, 113 Contador, 128 for Cade Evans. We, we do have ourselves a nice little, little lead. Lead that we could hopefully keep tomorrow between Nîmes and the Mont Ventoux. I may have clicked on simulate instead of play. And I do hate myself, if you're wondering. Fuck me. Why have I done that? The game was lagging. I, like, clicked massively. And I ended up clicking exactly where I did not need to. Fuck's sake. Well then. GC Wise went out 28 seconds ahead of Contador. Next stage, Revel Axe 3 Domaine. Fuck! Alright, this is not how I had planned to, to do. Because I expected to do the Ventoux. I mean, not expected, but I wanted to, to climb the Ventoux. But the looks of it, that ain't happening. Because I may have simmed it like an absolute cunt. I hate myself for doing that. But I genuinely despise myself. Like, I don't know. If I had simulated a stage, why not simulate a stage I don't like? The Ventoux is the stage I like. That's just not smart. Um, but yeah. I don't know how I'm going to manage to do this stage. I know pacing in the Port de Payer isn't worth. Uh, neither is pacing in its downhill portion. So I guess we'll just see what things happen. Uh, see what happens in the um, in Extra Domain. But 
Yeah, I'm, I'm pissed you end up like this. Alright, we're in the Port de Payer. Um, nearly halfway through the Port de Payer, actually. Carpet is protecting Kirschen, and Kirschen is, uh, has Rodriguez in the wheel. We just got blocked by Matthew Lloyd. Thank you, Matthew. Very kind. Uh, up the road, there's a lot of riders. There are 10 minutes in the lead. The rhythm isn't high at all, uh, which is why I'm expecting Kim Kirschen to bring back Purito at the front. Thank you very much. And just to pay 60, just to maintain uh, a, a sort of a rhythm to uh, avoid being blocked like we currently are by Andras Cloden. And we have readied ourselves for the climb in Axe and actually the first moves Alberto Contador, Andy Schleck and Purito. I mean mainly Alberto Contador, Schleck, Purito in the wheel, Ivan Basso, Kate Levens, Dennis Menchoff and Michael Rogers. Wait, we've already got a minute? Okay, wow. Big attack from Alberto Contador. We'll see if anyone follows. Counter attack from the Spaniard. Okay, interesting move. I mean, he does what he wants. He does what he wants. Uh, even Basso will soon crumble. Uh, Menchov, Schleck, Evans. Oh, here's... W welcome, devil. Uh, all right. Let's try to attack once again with the uh, Purito. That's a shame that Contador actually follows me. All right. Aerodynamic position. We'll see if that does anything. Everyone's going to come back. By everyone, I do mean Sam Sanchez and Michael Rogers. Counter attack from Cade Evans. Contador, okay, no, he was just attacking for the sake of attacking. Thank you, Cadel, very kind of you. Actually an attack, there we go. Cadel Evans goes again. Andy Schleck in the wheel. Purito Rodriguez in the wheel. Christian van der Velde has won in Axe Rodemen. There's only four of us remaining here. Uh, I don't think anyone will be able to uh, make a gap here. I mean, if I am, if there is gaps, it won't be me. Because uh, I don't have the energy to make an attack here. There's only four of us. We've dropped Sam Sanchez, but he's going to come back eventually. Oh, wow. Shit, shit. They're dropping me. They're dropping me. Sam, uh, not Sam, Purito. Come back. Thank you. Purito Rodriguez, K11, um, Alberto Contador, Andy Schleck. One kilometer until the line. And these guys are going to fight for the yellow jersey in the final week of this Tour de France. But for now, they're going to finish on the exact same line, exact same time for these four riders. Purito is the only one who will finish without the yellow. Andy Schleck will not... Will, no, actually he will. Andy Schleck, Head Evans, Contador and Purito in 10th place. No gaps whatsoever between those four. And, uh, well, nothing changes in the GC. That's disappointing. I mean, that was a stage for nothing. And uh, to think that I'm only going to lose time in this video because of a stage that I misclicked on is extremely infuriating. Like, extremely infuriating. I had done everything right. Yet somehow I've managed to fuck it up again. Um, I guess that's just me. But right, uh, GC-wise we're going to stay 28 seconds out of Contador, 29 ahead of K um, Andy Schleck. 114 ahead of Caleb Levens and three minutes ahead of Sam Sanchez, who is the main loser today. The big winner is Christian van der Velde, who jumps to P13 in the GC. I don't know if Raider Rejdal is there. Uh, nope. All right, well then, this is where we're going to wrap this episode of Purito, uh, episode 10, I believe, which means that the episode 11 will be the end of this Tour de France. We'll see if Purito finally wins a Grand Tour, yes or no. I know some of you wanted me to add the time trial again. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, it was an idea I had as well before simulating the Ventoux. Because with a 130 lead, I would have gone in not being confident at all, but I would have had a, a glimpse of hope. With 30 seconds, I'm, I know I'm going to finish 7th of the GC. So I feel like that might have destroyed my chances. Uh, and I believe that the offer is now off the table. I don't think I'm going to be... Unless I can pull a masterclass in, like, the other mountain stages, yeah? I think we won't have the time trial. Uh, but, again, 
that can change. Everything can happen on PCM. Uh, but to see what happens on this save, see what happens to Puerto Rico, then I highly recommend you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Leave a like down below if you've enjoyed the episode. And I shall see you in the very near future. My name is Ben Lacroix. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. What am all the money feeding? I don't want to go bomb Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster.